All right. Hi, everyone. We're live. Uh, having a forum here for anyone that has any questions about this amazing herbal tea that is used for so many decades. Um, it's basically something that was developed years ago by the Ojibwe Indians. Um, this is uh, something that a nurse in 1922 was basically doing her rounds in Canada. And when one of her, one of her patients had a lesion on her breast, she asked this woman about that lesion and was basically told that previously uh, she had gone to an uh, Ojibwe Indian medicine man. And that man treated her for breast cancer. And at that moment, um, she wrote down the, the combination of herbs that was listed by the woman and kept that note in a desk for, for about two years and didn't tell anyone about this, this mixture of herbs. Um, after two years, her aunt developed breast cancer and she treated her aunt and it worked and she was shocked by this. So this is something that started in 1922, this herbal mixture. And she was so impressed, the nurse who, who, who treated her aunt, she was so impressed that she started a clinic in Canada. And that ran for decades in Canada and had incredible success. And it became so successful that the people in Canada actually petitioned the government to have this, this uh, four herb formula basically as a means of treatment. Uh, so they brought it up for a vote. And that vote failed by three votes to be passed. And at that moment, uh, the woman was kind of frustrated. She had nowhere to go. So she came down to the United States and she took that formula with her and they started research to see if they can improve upon the formula. And that research was eight years worth of research with 18 physicians. And she worked with a man who was President Kennedy's personal physician, uh, Dr. Charles Bruch. What they did was they established what those herbs did as far as effectiveness. How well did they work? And once they established that, they decided to continue their research, obviously that's their goal, and see if they could improve upon the formula. And so they had trials with different herbs that were potential, uh, that were called potentiators, that were meant to help improve the formula and make it more effective. And so what they did was eight years of research. They'd find a particular herb, they'd mix it with another herb, see if that worked, and the ones that worked the best were combined with other herbs and tweaked. So inevitably what they had was a formula that had eight herbs, not the original four herb formula. And that eight herb formula was so consistent that they, they literally had something that they could send out to the world that had more consistency than anything that, that had ever been seen before. Uh, it's one of the reasons why we have the accountability of having a complete refund if someone takes this as directed for six months and it doesn't produce benefit because we are here to make sure that people get something legitimate that we can't take advantage of people and we have this on the up and up so we've done that for 17 years um, this is unlike anything you'll ever see um, this is what my father used when he got ill it's what my aunt's boyfriend used and my friend and my friend's wife used um, we're here to just get this out to the world and let them know that this is real, this is available, and this is unlike anything else out there. Um, looking to see if there's any questions or anything. Do you have anything? Um, I just had somebody who commented that they've been on it for one week and they're already feeling better, which is great. Um, that said, though, one week isn't always enough to actually feel the benefits. So maybe you could elaborate a bit on why um, yeah. the benefit can take longer sure. for some. Yeah. Well, this is something that people have to take and be patient with and it's unlike anything else like so many things that you're patient with this has the ability to get you to the finish line but what you've got to do is you've got to do it the right way this is something that takes uh you know it has to initially get you to start cleaning out and that's where the health starts to build but you only get to that place where you need to be is when you reach the finish line and the thing that makes this so incredibly good is that when you take this it's unlike anything else that cleans out your, your, your you know, digestive tract. It is meant to clean it to completion. So many things that are out there are basically detoxes that get the bulk amount of buildup in your intestines and remove them. And people say, oh, that's so great. I could tell it worked, but they don't realize that process is just starting. The hardest part of that process is to take the last layer 
that's on the intestinal walls and get rid of it. And that's kind of like the stuck on layer of a pan. It doesn't go away easily. Uh, and, and so that's why a pan takes the longest to scrub the last layer and get that clean when it's got like a burnt on mess. Your intestines are a lifetime of accumulation and that last layer is resistant. And so what's happening with this tea is it's three times a day you take this and it chips away at the intestines, basically cleaning it each round with the fiber intake. You need to get the fiber in with this, which is why the powdered version of this formula works best because you get the entire herb into your body and it cleans your intestines to completion. And in that scenario, your, your bloodstream is no longer being contaminated by the, the toxins leaching into the blood. The blood starts to clean up over time. And the blood is the life force. It is what creates resistance against disease and what help, helps to fight disease. So now what you've done is cleaned out the intestines, cleaned out the blood, and in doing so, the fight is, is really not compromised by the, by the toxins anymore. You have direct access to, say, maybe a health issue, a growth, or something like that. You have done the ultimate in getting your body to work as it was designed by God, and that is to actually heal with a cleaned out, uncompromised uh, bloodstream that is you know, basically clean enough to do the fight. This takes a while. It's not easy. You have to commit to this, but it's so worth doing. Um, so you do this three times a day, each time, it goes through your system, cleans a little more, and finally gets the last layer off. That's what makes this unique. It does what others don't complete. It finalizes that cleanliness, so now you have a more pristine immune response. Okay, so that was all really useful and, and very thorough. I think that one thing people would wonder is how did this person get feeling better or improvement in just one week? Yeah, the, the process started. Right. Yeah, and it can be varying based on the need to address something over time. Sometimes it takes a while to kick in. Sometimes it's more immediate. Uh, the majority of people can feel it earlier and build over time. But sometimes people are really, really sick and they need something to really reverse something from a very compromised state. So this isn't an immediate switch for all people. There are people that need to really get this. And, and, and if you get the concept of this, this is how it works. It has you know, varying degrees of need. People have different issues and different responses, not all identical. Uh, there are no side effects with this. The only thing you could have is not a, it's not a side effect. It's supposed to clean out your body. So what you're doing here is taking all the contaminants out. That means you could have some diarrhea for a few days. It is not that big of a deal. It's not gonna have any sort of detox issues where, where uh, you know, the Hertz effect where you're having headaches and dehydration and feeling horrible. It doesn't do that. You can have some diarrhea, but it's not gonna have anything, you know, really overly dramatic or any significant issues. You can take this with anything, anything on the planet. You can take it with any protocol, surgery, medication, anything. Um, totally safe. You can take this with, you know, chemo and radiation. It's actually something been found to be helpful against radiation. Um, as of last year, human studies were completed and presented in Santiago, Chile, um, about human response to radiation exposure. Uh, and it was found that 33 to 50% of the damage to the DNA as a result of radiation exposure was reversed. So this has a massive, literally clinically proven ability to reverse DNA damage. So this is unlike anything else. And essentially what this is doing is getting you back to a place where your body is doing what it's designed to do. I mean, we, we know that our bodies create life. We know the miracle that that, that is. Uh, another miracle is the ability to preserve life. It is ingrained in us from God. And we don't really have the ability to assess how significant that is because we become so compromised by what we've taken into our bodies and been exposed to. We simply don't know that that ability to fight back that your body has is really significant. It just needs a chance to work without all the significant uh, compromise as a result of the toxins. I mean, the toxins, they do some really bad things. You know, part of the issue is that when you have toxins on, on a growth, for example, um, a tumor, it, 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 it emits this um, almost like hydrogen peroxide, like a, a, a emission. 
and it's a hazy consistency. It goes around a tumor, makes a little micro environment. And in that environment, the defense cells of the tumor exist and thrive. So they actually, they actually thrive if this toxic uh, omission is part of the equation. If you get the bloodstream to eventually clean itself, well, eventually it runs clean and everything else in it runs clean. So that outer layer basically dissipates over time. And in that environment, what happens is you're not having that toxic byproduct that's fueling the defense cells of the tumor and they eventually die off. And now that resistance that is between your immune response and what it needs to address, it's no longer there that dies off and now you have the natural defenses working, but that takes some time, but it's worth doing. And inevitably there's nothing in the world that's really that quick to deal with these issues other than a surgical option. Uh, but every other option takes time. And this is about making sure you have the ability to do this and be committed to something that's worth doing and see the benefit of naturally cleaning your body to resist against disease. So for those of us who are just joining, we are talking about SEAC T. Um, we do have a TikTok shop where you can purchase it. You can also go to genuineseac.com. That's G-E-N-U-I-N-E. E, S like Sam, S like Sam, IAC.com. You can read more about it and you can purchase there if you're interested. So the other question that one of the viewers asked us is what condition is this for? What does it actually do and help with? Okay, yeah, great question. Best one uh, is there are so many applications to this, but it's not limitless. I mean, people would like to, to have it do certain things that it can't do, like neurological issues are very challenging, really doesn't address that. But what it does do is take any sort of inflammation-based disease, something like arthritis, uh, it, because arthritis is quite often the byproduct of having a toxic environment and it settles into your joints and stuff, helps with arthritis. Also, the same thing that, that, that causes issues in joints is what causes issues with, uh, you know, for example, the pancreas. If it has too many toxins, it, its ability to function is compromised. So you clean out the bloodstream, suddenly the pancreas works better. So diabetics will see their blood sugar quite often to go down and sometimes so significantly they get off the medicine. Uh, that's obviously something you should do with, with supervision uh, because you want to do that safely. Um, but there's, you know, cancer is, is the primary thing that this is known for because this, as I said, helps to get rid of the, 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 uh, the, the, the toxins that really support uh, the bad cells in the body. For lack of better words, the defense cells thrive in toxins. And if you get rid of that, it really does help clear the path for the natural uh, ability of the body to fight disease. And that body really gets amped up when you consider that an intestinal tract that is cleaned off. It has a much better absorption rate of nutrients. So now you have a, a significant, significantly improved, uh, you know, basically vitality and you're able to fight because you're digesting your food better. Um, it's also, the, you know, the, the white blood cells in the body, they don't have to fight the toxins on the way to a tumor, for example. They are not compromised by doing the battle of, you know, uh, in the midst of debris of toxins. So that debris field of toxins is no longer existent. It has direct access. It isn't being compromised by anything. And really cleaning out the body is the one thing this does. It gets it done to completion, unlike so many other things. But you have to make sure you get this in the physical sense into your body in its entirety. So you've got to get a powdered version of this. This, this is a, as I mentioned, an old Ojibwe Indian uh, formula. And what they did, they, they didn't have strainers and throw things away. Uh, what they did in their culture was use everything. So they, they thought of these medicinal herbs as gifts from God that couldn't be wasted or thrown away. So they used grinding stones, they grind it up every day and make it powdered so that you could ingest it in its entirety. And they knew that that was the most effective way. And it's still the most effective way. So you'll find people that try to so-called, you know, cheat this and sell something to you that has a, uh, a, a cleaner consistency. And that, that seems appealing. Like so many other things, uh, it, it isn't. It, it is more appealing because they take out the so-called yucky herbs that make it all murky. But in doing so, they take away the ability to clean the intestines to completion because they've taken out the physical fiber. They've taken out the additional benefit after the brewing process 
Um, essentially, this, once it's brewed, it still has some medicinal property in the herbs. And so the inclusion of the herbs is merited because it's, you have to maximize the effectiveness. So people are making, uh, you know, various versions of this. It's, they'll make it into, you know, something without the powder or they'll make it pre-made. And what they do is lessen the effectiveness and jack up the cost. So pre-made Esiac is a, just a very bad choice. You get a much cheaper and more effective version that's very easy to work with if you get the powdered version. Um, any sort of conversion to tincture, I would put that in the same category as trying to equate a vitamin pill to eating a plate of vegetables. You simply can't convert the natural intake of food and the digestion and uh, in a natural way and the fiber intake into a little pill and call that, you know, the same thing. Same thing here. If you see, you know, Essiac in, in pill form, you've got a converted thing that has really gotten away from its natural roots. And it's got to be in its most effective natural form. All right, so let's address comments for a sec here. Um, somebody wants us to go on there live. We're actually a little bit new to TikTok Live and we're not really experts in it. So please send us a DM and we'll talk about that. That would be great. Uh, Angie said hi to us. She's been a, <laughs> a big uh, user of our product and she yeah. recommends it a lot. So that's nice to see her here. And then there was somebody else that said that they've been taking it ever since they've had cancer and they're feeling a lot better. Mm -hmm. So I think one of the things that would be good to go over too is that people that are getting more traditional treatments such as chemo and radiation, a lot of times people like that are going to find that their side effects are a lot better with Essiac. So maybe expand upon that just a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about the accumulation of damage and toxic elements. They are two twofold uh, aspects to this. Now, I mentioned, first of all, uh, with chemo, uh, this is introducing a lot of toxic elements into the body. And the beautiful thing is that needs to be addressed by removing them. And that's what this does. This is something that over time continues to clean out the, the entire body. So you're removing the very things that are causing the side effects you know, the, the issues. And so you're, you're having something that's kind of, as the cycle is being introduced, it's eliminating on the other end. And so people find less side effects, overall more vitality and strength while they take this with chemo. And as I mentioned, radiation studies, this, this all started in 2018 when a uh, medical student called me up looking to do research in South America. Um, I sent them some of this, didn't really think too much about it. And next thing I know, we're up in a conference in Canada. Uh, presenting the first round of studies, which were initially mice studies, uh, to see the efficacy of this against DNA damage. So what they did was the mice studies had two sets of mice, those that drank the Essiac, those that drank the water. The ones that drank the Essiac, um, well, the ones that drank the water had a 24% natural DNA damage. Then they gave them Essiac, it went down to 6%, massive reduction. So they decided to have a radiation subgroup of this. So they exposed the mice drinking water to radiation and they had a massive spike in the DNA damage. It went up to 69%. So then they gave the mice drinking uh, the Essiac the same thing. They, so the people, excuse me, the, the mice that were drinking water that were exposed to radiation had 69% DNA damage. The ones that were drinking Essiac tea when exposed to radiation went up to 16%. Again, one six, 16%. So had over, had over a 75% reduction in damage to the DNA. And so when, the, when they called me up, they said, you're not gonna believe what we're seeing. The mice that are being heavily radiated are still healthier than the mice that weren't radiated, but were just drinking water. And that's because the Esiac tea made them healthier in spite of the radiation. So we went to the Canadian Cancer Research Conference and presented these results in uh, November of 2019. And that later, like I said, led to a group being uh, studied in South America that had, basically they were exposed to radiation via their jobs. They were uh, x-ray technicians. So they monitored their, their blood for a year, gave them the SEAC T and just broke down the results. And what happened was astonishing. Their blood cleaned up like they couldn't believe it. Literally took 33 to 50% of the DNA damage and reversed it. So this is for someone, if you want to do it in conjunction with chemo and radiation or anything else, fine. If you don't, just as well. Uh, your choice, uh, about half the people do it independent of conventional treatments and about half the people do it with conventional treatments. 
that's your leap of faith to do this. I, I realize this is new, uh, but this is there for either group. So um, we did have Susan asking, what is the name of the product and how to get it? This is called the SEACT, E-S-S-I-A-C-T, and you can purchase it on our TikTok shop as well as on our website, genuineseac.com. If you click back through some of our older posts, you should see as well that typed out for you if you'd like to review it that way too. Right. So. Yeah, again, E-S-S-I-A-C. It's actually the last name of the nurse. Her last name was Case, which is a French name, C A I. S S E. She spelled it backwards. So it's called Essiac as a result of someone named Case reversing her name. So it's E S S I A C. And then of course it's a T, so it's Essiac T. So if you just go to genuineseac.com, you can read all about it. Right, and we don't want to just purchase any Essiac T. A lot of people will say, oh, I'm just gonna go into Amazon and buy it there. What you're going to find on Amazon is not the same thing no. um, because SEAC could just be used by anybody. It's not trademarked because it's a natural product. And so you can't just say, oh, it's called SEAC. It's got to be the same thing. Yeah. You want to make sure that there's the eight herbs because at a certain point in time, the research showed us that Rean Case performed along with the Dr. Charles Bruch, President Kennedy's personal physician, that the eight herb formula was actually better. And most of what you'll find out there is for herb. You need a formula with proven lineage. Otherwise, you don't know what you're taking and it's probably not as good as what we have, which is part of why I wanted to make sure everyone hears too, is we are the only SEACT company that actually has a money back guarantee. Yeah, we make sure that you can't get taken advantage of. We don't get paid unless this works. That, that, that's what it boils down to. Uh, this is the byproduct of, of really my brother, who, when he had, I had an identical twin brother who had Lou Gehrig's disease. We spent $30,000 trying to save his life. And as a result of that challenge, we were strapped financially and caused tremendous stress. We put the money back guarantee because we've been in the position of others, trying to pick up the phone, trying to figure out who's telling the truth. Horrible, horrible. Um, so we do this to make sure that for the first time there's accountability in the mix. And yes, it's real. And yes, if there were some gimmick or some loophole, someone else would do this. No one else is doing this because it's real. It's called accountability and they would be exposed for what they, they're not. And we are glad to, to prove who we are with this. Now, she mentioned the doctor that, that worked on the research with this. It was done in Cambridge, Massachusetts, a little bit south of here. Um, I worked with that doctor that worked along the alongside the original nurse, the man that did the research to develop the four herb formula into the eight herb formula is the man that taught me how to make this. You'll see his letter on our website. Um, basically, this started years ago. We, we, we found out about this, referred people about, uh, to this when we found out from Dr. Bruce's friend. And when we found out about this, it started a whole network of people that continually, continuously used it and got well over time. Eventually, uh, the friend became overwhelmed in supplying the, the herbs and asked if we could help. That led to uh, us doing that for years. Uh, eventually, that led to a TV show uh, in which the people on the TV show, it was in New Hampshire, it was called The Kathy Burnham Show years ago. It was over 30 years ago. But that panel had a bunch of people that were using our SEAC T telling their story. And that started this into a massive demand uh, in the local region, New Hampshire, Massachusetts. And that eventually spread. And we needed to really address the significant demand for this by working to increase the, the dis distribution, to work with Dr. Bruch and you know, really figure out how to get the machines to make it and get the formula. So. It's the result of, you know, 30 years ago, there being a uh, dramatic need for this after a TV show. Somebody else just asked, how long does it take until the results? I, we did cover this earlier in this uh, post, but just quickly to review mm -hmm. this, um, you might start feeling better pretty fast within a week, but to really get those lasting changes, we're looking at four and a half to six months. That's what the research shows. Right. And, and again, you know, you see people that ask questions like, can I take this if I'm not sick? As a preventative measure, there's nothing better you can take. This is something that has a, um, a, a just a, a ridiculously good effect on your ability to, as I say, experience the, the digestive benefits of this, normalize something with the bloating, the gas and stuff like that. 
And uh, again, the DNA repair, I, I believe, is something that helps overall as well. Obviously, damaged DNA is a bad thing. Um, and that's clinically proven to be what this does. So that's not even debatable anymore. This is something that has, you know, been put to the test and, and every turn passed the test. Um, and then Isa commented that her parents are drinking it and she's been telling everybody about it and also how much better she feels too. So thank you, Isa. We really appreciate that. That was great to read. Somebody else asked, what are the ingredients in this product? Oh, it, there are eight different herbs, all of which have... Um, basically detoxifying anti-tumor, anti-cancer, uh, you know, been researched to help. They are blessed thistle, burdock root, red clover, uh, sheep sorrel, which has to include the root of the, the, the plant. Um, sheep sorrel is, is really a massive uh, importance when it comes to cancer. Uh, kelp, watercress, Slippery elm, which is used quite often for lozenges and cough medicines because it's a significant soother and helps to heal. Um, and Turkish rhubarb root, which is, helps to kill parasites. Uh, it's an anti-parasitic. It, it is massively important. A lot of people theorize that cancer is, is the result of parasites, and this really addresses that significantly. So this is uh, got a combination of all things, meant to clean and heal um, and, and if you're looking at this in terms of, you know, the, the synergistic effect, this is the result of research in the balance of these herbs. You'll find that people, uh, because it's unregulated as of a few years ago, people have just popped up selling Esiac. And the significance of that is you don't know what you're getting it from. That's why we have our letter of, of authenticity, because a lot of Johnny come lately are, are selling something, calling it Esiac or calling it something similar. They're calling it like native legend tea or something. And they have no uh, ties to actual SEAC tea. And they're selling it. So you have to be very aware of what legitimate sources there are. Um, you also find that there are Facebook uh, sites that are meant to basically funnel people in the wrong direction. They, they use fear, misinformation, fear mongering. And instead of the reassurance that we try to give you, they won't do that. They won't say, if it doesn't work, we're going to give you money back. What they do is tell deceptive things and fear and misinformation, and steer you towards a bogus product, jack up the price, and in doing so, you think that you've gone to an, a, an unbiased third party. Quite often, these groups are run by actual people that are involved in misrepresenting SEAC and funneling people in their direction. So be careful. Um, if you really want a, a good, well, you can tell about the Facebook groups that we have. Um, yes, yeah. so the Facebook groups, um, we have one called Genuine Gen yeah, Gen Users Group. Is that what it's Gen called? Gen Genuine SEAC Users Genuine Group. Genuine SEAC Users yes. Group. Um, that would be a great one for you to join if you are on Facebook. Uh, sorry, I'm just like reading comments too. Okay. It's kind of a lot to do all of those jobs. Um, does it hurt? So, okay, I'm just trying to take notes um, about these questions. Um, but yeah, that's a great thing to join. And then somebody just asked, does it hurt if you take more than recommended? Tell them about that, please. Yeah, I mean, what you would do if you took more than recommended. We have a pretty liberal policy as far as that goes because uh, what we've seen is there's a, there's a dose that would be comparable to taking an, a couple of aspirin. And that would be, you know, for a headache. If you took a couple of aspirin, you'd think you had a pretty good job with your headache, very good chances of getting well. Um, but if you took like a third aspirin, it's kind of erring on the side of caution. But then you don't want to take too much. So what you should do is really you get diminishing returns after six ounces at a time. Really no significant need to address this. I got to shuffle. Uh, to, to address this with over a six ounce measure. So the most you should take is a six ounce measure. Um, really anything beyond that is really not going to have any sort of benefit. You're not going to get any upside to that. So, you know, the, the instructions are very specific on how to take this. If you take this, I really have to harp on the need to read the instructions specifically because most of the things that we have that are asked are the result of people that kind of breeze through the instructions. And it's really something, if you read it, like it's a, a love note, like, like you, you, you got to be fixated. And so really read it with a, a special attention to detail. And, and I tell you, it's worth it you, to apply this the right way. 
is massively more effective than the wrong way. And, and looking to cheat the system or condense it into two doses instead of three or, you know, to, to do anything like that really goes against the overall goal of effectiveness. So stay on board with exactly as it recommends and don't try to look for a loophole or uh, anything like that. Right. So for most of us, we're going to have breakfast, we're going to have lunch and we're going to have dinner. If we try to just eat all of our food in one meal, that usually isn't the best for our health. So this is similar. You don't want to try to cram all the SEAC into just one. That isn't the spirit of how to use this. And so just taking it that three times a day, just like the label says, just like the brochure says, you want to follow that as closely as you can to expect the same results you've seen on our website, the testimonial section. These are all true stories. They're all real people. But to get results like that, you have to take it as directed. I did have somebody um, ask again, because people are just continuously joining here. You can order this on your on our TikTok shop. You can also order it on genuineseac.com. That's G-E-N-U-I-N-E-E-S-S-I-A-C.com. Those are the best ways to order. Somebody asked, is this good for autoimmune? Uh, you know, autoimmune, it's very tricky. Um, we've had some people that have been frustrated and some people that have done quite well and everything in between. Autoimmune is very tough because there's so many different aspects and so many different types. So the, the answer to that is if you might want to try it, but I wouldn't sit there and just put my uh, investment in, in doing this too prolonged. I think you should see the results within a couple of months if you do. Uh, minimize the amount that you, you invest in this as far as time and money. Uh, I think if you don't see results within a couple of months, then I would move on. But we've had enough people that have, you know, shared with us the benefit that it's worth experimenting. But unlike some of the other things I mentioned, autoimmune is kind of a tricky animal. It, it is the immune system response that has a very, very varied response and varied conditions. So it's a lot more difficult to get, you know, to get a, a hold of. Well, and all that being said, I used it for my lupus. Yeah. So in my 20s, I was diagnosed with lupus. I did explore a medical route. I personally didn't get a lot out of that. Um, I had trouble digesting food. I had to have emergency bowel obstruction surgeries. It was not good. I was in the hospital constantly. And when I started taking SEAC, I did notice a marked improvement. And so for me, it really did help me. And I continue to take it preventively now or maintenance level, I should say, just so that I can keep my good results. Um, but like he's saying, you know, you always want to make sure that you're exploring all of your options and you're not just putting all your eggs in one basket, especially if you're not sure that what you're choosing, such as SEAC, would be the best thing for this. Now, that being said, we do cover autoimmune under our money back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we want to help support you in giving it a shot. It's not going to harm you. So you can always do other things at the same time. We're just trying to share with you what we've noticed in terms of numbers. Right. Um, what I personally noticed in terms of the feedback I'm getting on email, I think breast cancer and prostate cancer, but if I had to pick one, probably breast cancer, is just that's the most success stories we're hearing. It's not to say that that's for sure because we're just going off of people emailing us, but like time after time after time, breast cancer, breast cancer, breast cancer. If you go on our testimonial page on our website, you're going to see there's far more of those testimonials than any other. Again, I don't know if that's you know proven that that is the case. However, from our anecdotal stories, that's what we're seeing, which leads me into a question about, is this okay for hormonal cancers? Oh yeah, I mean, you'll find some people, you see what, what's happened is, it's become a shootout, uh, like the, the Wild West. People are competing and vying for the opportunity to jack up the prices and scare people. Uh, and so what happens is there's an ingredient that's really good for breast cancer and been clinically proven to be. Uh, and it's, it's the red clover. It's in the eight herb formula and it's in there by design. It's not in there because anyone missed anything. Eight years of research did not miss anything. So it's origins, as I said, are a result of breast cancer. We find consistently that's the one thing that people respond most to. And that includes, uh, you know, H, HER2 positive breast cancer. That is absolutely no issue at all with that. Now, what happens online is people don't realize there's a medicinal level of usage with this in, in which you find that it's more effective at one level and you start getting to a higher level and it's, it's using too much. And SEACT has that level that's effective against breast cancer. 
and to use too much you literally need to consume like 30 times the amount that's in there so you'll see in there that some people will say uh, i heard it's not good for breast cancer it's because they have no idea about the red clover essentially it's the same type of idea if you used table salt you don't run over someone puts a table salt in, in their recipe you don't go that's going to cause hypertension you know it's responsible it's actually good for cellular uh, you know health to use salt um, but it's in responsible levels and overdosing is the furthest thing from consideration same thing with this this is going to be beneficial at the level that's in there and it's great to deal to, for, for helping with breast cancer and the the eight herb formula in particular is the most effective because of the red clover right and you also have to keep in mind that when one ingredient is taken on its own say you pour a big giant glass of red clover tea that's different than if you pour yourself a small serving of asiac which is what the serving is Somebody actually asked how many cups per day, and I'll get to that in just one second. But you've got a lit, so big cup of red clover, small amount of Essiac tea. Now of that Essiac tea, only a tiny percentage is actually the red clover. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing you have to keep in mind is there's a synergistic effect. When we put eight ingredients in there, it's going to actually combine to create something different than the individual ingredients. It's kind of like if you bake a cake and you have sugar and flour and salt, you don't really taste the salt because you just taste that lovely cake that you made. So you're not going to get the same thing when you're combining. And that is why some of that information that you'll read is going to be misleading you away from SEAC when actually SEAC could be the very best thing you could be doing. And you will see those hormone receptor positive cancers on our testimonials page, as well right. as scroll back through our old TikToks. Most of our posts are just testimonials. We want to share our customer success and we want to give people hope because it's all true and real. And we just want people to see that. Um, so yes, definitely hormone receptive cancers for sure. Mm. Um, we want to, that is a great reason to take acid. I see where it says how many cups a day. Um, yeah. Specifically, instructions are on the website. They're on our, in our brochure that we send you on the labels. We're here as a support uh, as well to, to really, so if you go on the website, you can see it's three times a day for any need to address any health issue. Um, it's only... The maintenance dose, people are confused, but maintenance means to maintain. And you wouldn't want to maintain a, a, you know, a state of illness. You'd want to maintain after you achieve health. So the maintenance dose is post uh, any sort of illness in which you've basically cleaned out, cleaned out your system, addressed the health need, and you then need to uh, you know, really sustain that with a lesser aggress aggression. So twice a day is considered the maintenance dose. That's what you do when you address something and it's no longer, you know, you're no longer ill or have any uh, evidence of disease. Then you can go to the maintenance dose. Elliot just shared uh, that she's been on SEAC for a week. Um, I'm not sure if it's a she, I'm guessing here. but um, So one week, that's awesome. We love hearing that. And we always get excited when, because we know we have a lot of followers. We don't always know who's purchasing. So it's just nice to connect with you guys in this way and see like, it's actually real people taking this. This is yeah. it's really fun. And we, we don't lose sight of that. There are people out there. We're available all the time. We talk to these people every day. I've done this since 1986. I've done this I was uh, 1986, I was 21 years old when we first got involved in this. Um, this is something that we've gotten to know people. We're here and we're, we're here and we're present because we are looking to be impactful with real people and address what they need and be accountable for what we, we say. So if you want, you can call us here or contact us via email. We are always available. Uh, so Patriot Awake just said that it has a strong flavor. I like the way you ordered that. Um, it is it is not a tea to, that is designed to be sipped for pleasure. That said, we have a lot of people that actually like it, but it's a little bit on the bitter side, um, which is actually by design because if it weren't bitter, you would know they're leaving out some of those critical herbs. So this is good that it's bitter. However, um, we want to let you guys know too that you can add things to it to help the taste. Right, it, the old saying with herbs is bitter is better. Eventually, bitter herbs are something that has uh, have a, a higher medicinal benefit. So what you're finding is that people uh, want to somehow do a, a work around this and not have that taste. Well, the, the, the good news is you can accommodate that. In the instructions, we give the details that you can add whatever amount of natural fruit and vegetable juice that you want to this if you wanted to, um, and just mix whatever ratio till eventually the taste from the juice 
overwhelms the taste of the Essiac. There's also, if people don't want to do juice, you can use stevia. Um, so as long as it's natural fruit or vegetable juice, that's fine. Stevia is fine. And, uh, you know, you got to make sure that you're looking at something and people do not want to have a mature perspective. We tell our children to really, uh, to not just eat junk food all day and to eat something that isn't delicious, for example, their spinach, but the benefits there. We need to have a less childlike mindset and have an adult mindset. It's a necessary thing to ingest something sometimes that isn't delicious. And so if you're looking for a workaround that has a, um, you know, a, a capsule or a pill, you're doing something that's a massive disservice. You're taking out the physical element of the ingestion of the herbs and the fiber and replacing it with a, a very token effort to make something called Essiac. So you're, you're finding right now in the lack of regulation, you've got to make sure you've got legitimacy, you're not just saying I have Essiac. People are coming up and just charging extraordinary, multiple times what we are to sell something fake. They're going online. There's, you know, they have groups that are, like I say, designed to misinform. And it, the benefit of that is there's an incredible lure if you're greedy to make a lot of money with fear. We do the opposite. We're sure we can't make a lot of money on this um, if, it's, if it's not working. We make sure that we can't get paid at all if it's not working. We, in doing so and getting you real SEAC, if you get like a six month supply, you're still paying with shipping less than a dollar a day to take this. So this is a, an effort to make it affordable and accessible and information for everyone to use this and use this without breaking the bank. And we work with our customers to adjust any and all needs for them. If they need to address anything, call us. We make sure everyone gets this and everyone can afford it. It's that simple. So I'm T. I love that username. That's really good. Um, they said health goals over flavor. Absolutely. It's yeah. like, and you will get used to it. I actually did not really love it at the beginning. And now if I go away and since I've been on it for so many years, I'm okay with like missing a week here and there. I'm just in maintenance mode and I've been taking it for over 10 years. I do honestly crave it a little bit because I think my body knows it needs it. And so I do crave it. And that is a change that happened when I first started drinking it. I didn't love it, but it got a lot better. And there's ways, like Brian said, you can do the juice, you can do the lemon, you can do anything like that to add to it. And that way you're actually going to be able to get it into you. The stevia is really popular as well. Mm -hmm. Somebody asked how much is in a cup. It's just three ounces. It's literally like a shot and a half, uh, like two shot glasses of alcohol. Um, not that we suggest <laughs> shots of alcohol, but like to give you an idea. So it's, it's tiny. It's a couple of sips, really. That's yeah, all it it's is. really easy to easily done. Even if you need to chase it with some juice, that's yeah. fine. You can totally chase it with juice. When I first started using it, I would actually swish orange juice around my mouth. <coughs> and I can't believe still that I needed to do that because now I actually enjoy it. And I do think yeah. that the more toxic your system is, the more bitter it will taste to you. So if you're one of those people that cannot stand it, you probably need it the most. Yeah. Do you think that's fair? To yeah. Say? And, and just another thing here is, is people are always concerned about some sort of aspect uh, or concerned with interactions or anything, anything. It, it, it's only going to help every other treatment. So if you're worried about having the chemo work better or having the radiation work, not only does it help repair the damage that, that's there and lessen side effects, it actually increases your, your chances of doing well while on it. So mm -hmm. there's no negative or interactive issue with anything on the planet. You can take this with anything. I get all sorts of concern questions of, well, what about this? What about that? There is no what about. It is I'm not saying that in a, you know, in, a, in a casual way, there is simply no interactive issue and no negative aspect. It can only help and produce benefits, not something that causes harm. After all, it's, uh, these are some of the eight years of research produced the right amounts and quantities for complete safety and efficacy. This is something that is not a mistake. First and foremost, they had safety as the primary issue in their research, and then they advanced to effectiveness. And this is both, so you can take this with anything. Well, and in regards to side effects too, a lot of people email in and they'll say, should I start on a weekend? I want to go to work. Like, am I going to be in the bathroom the whole time? I mean, that isn't common at all. It, no. It, you might have a little bit more frequency of needing to use the bathroom, but it shouldn't be urgency. It shouldn't right. be like, I need to sprint over there or right. there's going to be an accident. Like that isn't this because this is a longer detox. It's going to take six months. Right. If you're taking something that says it's going to detox you in a weekend, you're probably going to be in the bathroom the whole time. And that's the great point. Yeah. Because most of these things have, other detoxes have a very acute aspect to them in the fact that you can only take them for a limited amount of time. Sure, you get evidence that you go into the bathroom 20 times a day and you're like, oh my God, this is working. Well, the end result of that is you have a very uh, significant response to a fault 
in which you have dehydration headaches and you can't sustain that. And what that doesn't do is allow for the process that I mentioned earlier to be completed. And that is to continuously strip away until the, the process of cleaning the intestines is complete. It's an abrupt bulk removal, but it still leaves on the intestinal walls that, that build up that's hard to remove, kind of like the last layer of a pan that's stuck on. This chips away at the last layer over time. It's a moderate cleanse over time that just keeps going through the intestinal walls, chipping away. And that's why the beauty of this, it's the one thing that completes the job of removing toxins and gets it done to completion. And that's where the benefit of clean blood results in an immune response that's really vitalized. We just got a question about balancing hormones. So as a woman in her early 40s, I will respond to this one. Um, this woman was wondering about balancing her estrogen. So SCFT is an adaptogen. What that means is it helps bring our body back to homeostasis. So if our body is too high in estrogen or if our body's too low, it's going to tend to bring us to that middle point that we want to be at. Um, so that's basically it with the hormones is that we're balancing things. And yes, it does that no matter which stage of life you're in, but it's particularly of need when women are going through perimenopause and menopause, because obviously that's a time when hormones can be a little bit wonky. And a lot of why we don't feel well during those times is because our body is fluctuating. One day your estrogen's up here, the next day your estrogen's down here. That doesn't feel good and it doesn't let you adapt to how you're feeling. So you're just all over the map. So by balancing things out, you're going to feel a lot better. And it's just a great thing to take at that stage of life just because we can help modulate our, our hormones and feel better. So uh, we also had a question about um, how long does it stay good in the fridge? Oh, yeah, basically about three weeks. Um, anyone using this would be following the instructions. So people say, well, is it going to go bad? And the answer is no, because we have we, we provided the, the right amount so it doesn't go bad. You just... You, you just worry about having the instructions specifically being done every day. And at that rate, they'll be wanting to be close to going bad. So it's going to be uh, the appropriate amount to keep it fresh while you're using it, you know, as directed. Somebody just asked about swollen lymph nodes. Is this good? Yes. Yes. It, it is something that helps. As I said, that's the evidence of disease in the body. And this is helping to remove, you know, everything that's flowing through the body. And as a result, you're going to find that, you know, swollen lymph nodes are, are the byproduct of the existence of, of an illness or toxins or something like that. So you're looking at something that may not initially just immediately reverse itself, but over time, as it cleans up, the lymph nodes reduce and everything gets normalized. So yes, it is for anything like, like that as a response over time to get it healthy, to, to reduce that, that basically a lymph node is, it's like a panic response to the body to, to disease, and it's got to be addressed in a way that you, you've got to fight that with some, instead of a panic response, you have discipline. You have to become a disciple to do this the right way, and in doing so, you can take that response and over time diminish it so there's no, no more inflammation. See, this is what's happening. The body gets inflamed, and so many of these illnesses have the aspect of inflammation. That's the byproduct of these toxins they, they, they basically churn hotter and, and, and they inflame the body. Getting rid of the toxins allows for the inflammation to be reduced because they basically disease loves to live in an inflamed environment. We just had a question about is this tea what people use for cancer? Yes. Um, for those who are joining later, we have talked about this earlier in the call, but um, Cancer is absolutely the number one reason people use SCAC. It's not the only reason, but yes, you've found the right thing. It's called SCAC tea and you can purchase it at our TikTok shop where you want to go to the little kind of shopping bag icon in your TikTok when you're on our profile. And uh, you're on our profile right now, if you don't know what that means. <laughs> so you somehow fit, found it that way. So just when this call ends, you can um, pop over there to the little shopping bag. You can also go to genuineseac.com. That's G-E-N-U-I-N-E. E-S-S-I-A-C.com and you can purchase if you're interested. We wanted to just thank Dennis for sharing about his prostate cancer. He said he had it in 2008 and he posted that he was cured with uh, using the SCFT. So that's awesome. We love that. 
Um, why we do what we do is really hearing these stories. Um, every day we wake up and we hear this and this just reinforces to us that we're in the right place and doing good in the world, which we always appreciate hearing the stories. Um, also Sandra, she told her customer about it. I'm not sure what you do Sandra, but it sounds like you have customers that are interested in health and improving their health with natural means. And uh, she took it for a thyroid cancer. So we really truly appreciate it. We actually really grew this company with word of mouth before we yeah. Really, it was before social media, We or right around when social media started. But yeah. back in 2004, I mean, Facebook was just getting started. We really didn't have any other way other than word of mouth, and we still to this day really, really appreciate that. So anybody who you can think of in your life that might have cancer, diabetes, heart problems, any of the things we've talked about today, please send them our profile. Share this because you never know what life you can save by just bringing up something that somebody might not have heard of before. Did you have anything that you wanted to add to this, uh, no, this slide? No, if anyone else has anything to add, um, it's pretty much everything. Someone just said we're good at getting it out fast. We try. Um, we haven't missed a shipping day in, what, 20 years now almost? Um, 19. 19 <laughs> years, yeah. We, we really do try. Um, we've grown our staff over the years so that there's more of us. That way uh, we can always keep things running smoothly. And so we thank you. We really try to keep you guys at the forefront and get the product out when you order. A lot of people are still asking how to post. Um, is there any way you could post it on this TikTok? or How to order. Yeah, I don't, yeah, how to, how I don't know. I've got to watch some tutorials and figure okay. out how to do fancier things on here. But um, GenuineSiac.com. Um, uh, one more time. I'll do it slow. Genuine, obviously, is G-E-N-U-I-N-E. -E, genuine. The next word is Essiac. It's tricky. It's E S isn't Sam. S isn't Sam. I is an ice cream. A is an apple. C is in cat. So it's genuine Essiac then dot com. So it's genuine Essiac dot com. And look over everything. We have so much information there. It's just an informational source. Do what you need to do. It's just a low pressure offering. If you if you need to address any health issues, you can kind of, you know kick around there and see what you can find. Well, thanks so much for joining guys. You are so good at asking questions. That makes these interesting. We'll uh, see you next time. Thank you. <laughs> thanks. Appreciate it.